it was a powerful and moving experience. The Westminster Choir and New York's legendary contemporary music group Bang on a Can performed Julia Wolfe's Pulitzer Prize winning Anthracite Fields at the historic Roebling Factory in Trenton. There is something special about entering into a factory space where a different kind of group activity happened and suddenly we're an ensemble, they were an ensemble. It's a very interesting and beautiful dynamic and connection. This piece in this space is extraordinary. You're in a space that was completely run by anthracite coal. It, it took that kind of power to make the steel for building, like things like the Brooklyn Bridge. Those things combined together in, the, in this cathedral to industry. The piece explores the history of mining in Pennsylvania's anthracite coal region. I just became fascinated with what, what was that industry, and the more I got into it, the more amazed I was at, at what, what happened there. The labor movement, economic justice, and our profound dependency on energy are all themes woven throughout the work. One part of Anthracite Fields tells the story of the Breaker Boys, some as young as eight years old. The Breaker Boys were the boys who sat over the, you know, as the coal came by in the chute, uh, it was mixed with, uh, with lots of other rocks, and they had to pick out all the shale and all the stuff that wasn't coal, and it was brutal work. But also part of that is the fact that they were boys and they were playful. across this one video of John L. Lewis, who was the head of the United Mine Workers Union. I was so struck by his being. Um, he's an amazing, amazing speaker, and he used to challenge you know, congressional committees to take a look at what was going on in this region, and how we should be taking care of these men who were working in very dangerous conditions underground. Now, on this particular day of our Lord, Mr. Krug has found 518 mines that he shuts down because they're unsafe. May God in heaven forgive him for not finding those out before and taking action long delayed before these men die. He would hold them to it and just say, we, you know, we owe protection to these men. We must grind up human flesh and bones in this industrial machine that we call modern America. He's, it's poetic. I don't, I don't know if people don't talk like that anymore. If we must grind up human flesh and bones in this industrial We call. He trained as a classical cellist and has been Paul Simon's music director and guitarist for the past 19 years. Guitarist Mark Stewart was a founding member of Bang on a Can. I play the guitar for the entire piece, but in one movement called speech, I stand up and I sing. And I sing the words of the great leader, uh, John L. Lewis. He was a, uh, an extraordinary man who helped fight for better wages and safer conditions for the miners. We owe protection to those men and we owe the security to their families if they die. First it was daunting, but now I, I, am so, uh, I am so inspired by 
by his words and by Julia's setting of those words. I'm ready for it every night and I, and I, I am honored to, to be in the position to, to sing those words. So the last movement, basically I just wrote out a list of things you do every day that, that use energy. Uh, and since we are partially coal powered at this point, we are also using coal. Um, bake a cake, drill a hole, call your girlfriend on the phone, it, the list goes on. It's a very long list. The New Jersey State Council on the Arts, encouraging excellence and public engagement in the arts since 1966, is proud to co-produce State of the Arts with Stockton University, New Jersey's distinctive public university.